Hi, it's Clantex here with a re-recording of the um, live video I did of Linux from scratch on booting on a 486. Uh, the reason why I've done this is because the original video is a little bit grainy and a little bit blurry. So hopefully this recording will be a little bit more um, legible. So I've booted into uh, what they call now the Legacy Grub, which is version 0.97. And as I explained in the videos when I did the uh, Linux from scratch on 486, that the reason is the machine I've got this image on is um, uh, I've got it used uh, use it for something else, so I don't want to um, change the boot sector or anything on there. So that's the reason why I'm booting off the floppy. So first of all, I'm going to just specify the disk and partition that the kernel is on and specify the name of the kernel and some details about how to boot it once that's loaded I will actually do the boot So it just takes a little while for the system to find the device nodes. Okay, so we're in, so I'm just going to log in as myself. And first off, just do a few checks. So, first thing I'm going to do is look at the LS, LFS release file. You can see it says 8.4. And we'll have a look at the LSB release file. You can see all the details are typed in. And there's uh, configuring the system. Um, can check the kernel details. What it knows about the machine, so you can see it's Linux i486 and it's kernel version 4.20.12, compiled on Friday, August 9th, 2019. So let's have a look now at the CPU information the kernel has found. You can see it's got the 486DX4 model name and a few other details. So let's now go into the sources directory and just run the version check that we ran when we were checking to see if our system was capable of compiling Linux from scratch 8.4. So the next one is text info, it just takes a little while longer. Okay, so that's there, and the last thing it does is it just compiles a small program 
just to check that the GCC compiler is functioning. And yeah, it's all okay. And you can see from those versions there, they're the ones that we compiled with. If I just do a listing, you can see those com the source packages tie up with the versions. So now let's try and connect to the internet with links. Let's go to the BBC news page. And let's find some news. Uh, news headlines. So something there about UK government gives coronavirus updates. So let's try that one. Okay, looks like a video on that one. Let's go back and select another link. So there's one there about supermarkets scrapping some product restrictions. Let's try that one. Yeah, people coming outside a supermarket image there and it's just saying there are supermarkets in the UK um, are withdrawing some restrictions basically. So, so anyway, there you go. We've uh, got some latest news. Just proves that we've got connection to the internet and the latest news about the coronavirus. So that's it. I'll just uh, come out of that and shut the machine down. So thank you much for watching. Um, as always, if you enjoy the videos, appreciate it if you like them. And if you've not done so already and want to hear or watch more of the videos that I produce, then please click on the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.